I wonder how many merch by Amazon shirts we have in our closets at home. What's up entrepreneurs? Welcome to Entrepreneur Girl. Today we are going to be talking about merch by Amazon. One of the questions from a subscriber here on YouTube was about what has happened with my merch by Amazon account over the last year. So today's video we are going to be talking about the strategies that I have learned over this last year in order to get a thousand dollars of mostly passive income off of merch by Amazon. Before we begin, if you would hit the subscribe button and the little bell right beside the subscribe button, you will be notified of all future videos. I don't want you to miss any of them. We post two new videos every single week about building an online business. So if you are wanting to quit your nine to five job or if you're wanting to be at home, um, go ahead and subscribe to this channel. And there's additional information at entrepreneurgirl.net. Actually, there's over 20 free resources waiting for you over there. So some of you might be wondering what exactly is Merch by Amazon? Well, it is a platform where you can upload your artwork onto a t-shirt and once you select the colors and the title and the features and you make it live, Amazon will sell your t-shirt for you. And actually they will fulfill the whole order. So once you create the design, you upload the design, Amazon pretty much handles everything else, which is why I love it so much. So if you are wanting to get on this, um, the first step you need to do is to request an invitation. And it took me about eight months to get approved. I don't know. I've heard stories that it took um, some people weeks. Others, it took months. My personal experience was eight months. So I don't know why it took me so long. Um, I think it was also at a time when it was new and popular. So that might play into it. But I do have some tips for you, things that I've learned uh, myself and also by talking to other people on how you can make this process a little faster. Now on your application, you want to show professionalism, you want to show experience, you want to show that you know what you're doing. So anything that you have, I pulled out all the stops, no lie, like I put all my social media, I put my website, which you're on right now, I showed them that I already was selling products on my website, you know, and services, um, everything that I could think of that would show that I was legitimate, that I was a business, um, I shared with them my LLC, I shared with them anything that showed that I was established and a business and a professional. I even stated that I had several designs already that I was ready to go with, you know, that, that I was already um, selling online and I would like to share these popular designs with Amazon. So anything that you can think of, take your time, please, you know, it takes so long to get approved. Um, take your time when filling out the application, put everything that you can think of um, on there and give yourself the best shot at getting approved right from the beginning. Like I said, it did take me a while to get approved. There is going to be some form of a way, regardless of how long that is. So I do have some tips on some things that you can do while you're waiting. The first thing you can do is research. There's a whole learning curve of stuff that you're going to need to learn about Merch by Amazon. So you could be learning how to design. You could be learning the rules and regulations. You could be learning several techniques in order to be the best Merch by Amazon person that you can possibly be. The second thing that you could be doing is getting your designs ready. And I have lots of tips about this, things that I have learned over the past year that I want to share with you. 
on how you can, you know, be thinking about be getting that those creative juices going so that you could be creating your own designs. The first tip is what I'm doing right now. I'm just, you know, Googling t-shirts. I'm looking at the designs that are already out there. Another place to go is Pinterest, of course. And if you start looking up t-shirts, you know, t-shirt designs, you'll start to see some, you know, items that come up. And you can just kind of browse and see, uh, get ideas. Now, we're going to be talking in a minute about trademark protection and everything. Um, how However, this is just to kind of get the creative juices flowing, you know, stuff that you like. You can't copy what you see. That wouldn't be right. But it can, you know, inspire you to uh, create something similar and tweak it to make it unique. And that's what we're looking at here. There's a lot of really cool ideas on both Google and Pinterest. Another idea is however you are searching for ideas on t-shirts, what you want to remember to do is to look up both holidays and seasons. So as you can see, like America, um, 4th of July is coming up. And so this is a way for you to remember to be posting um, t-shirts on you know the military on 4th of July. Um, here's one that's kind of like, um, St. Patrick's Day, so Christmas, anything that's getting ready to come up, Father's Day is getting ready to come up, Mother's Day just passed, anything like that, maybe this love t-shirt, it's like a Valentine's Day, you want to be capitalizing and making sure that you have a design, here's, you know, Halloween, um, October, or, you know, something like that, Thanksgiving, you want to capitalize on every holiday and every season that's out there. Another tip would be gameplay. Um, you know, there's gaming is really popular. I'm really into this Fortnite right now. It's a game that is currently trending. I love to play it. And while you have to be very careful when it comes, you know, to intellectual property and trademarks, you can really capitalize if you're careful on different designs pertaining to a game or maybe a saying, just a text on a shirt that might be something that might be heard from Fortnite. So if you're careful, this is a way that I want you to be mindful of with, um, you know, trending type of topics, whether it's a trending game or a trending expression, something that all the teenagers are saying or something that, you know, is just really popular to say. These are ways that you can make a lot of money on a t-shirt because it's really popular right now. And even if it's only popular for a few months, you can capitalize on all of that. So what is our goal? Our goal is to have a very high demand product and very low competition. That's the sweet spot, a high demand, but low competition. So we don't want these really crazy competitive niches. We want to have something that is less competitive. Let me show you what I mean. Okay, so for example, if I look up dog t-shirts, I'm going to get a lot of t-shirts that come up because this is a very popular, you know, niche, right? So there's going to be a ton of shirts and there's also going to be a ton of competition. So I need to narrow this down a little bit. Like maybe I just want a specific type of dog <laughs> t-shirt. So I have, you know, Rottweilers. Uh, maybe I want to look for a Rottweiler t-shirt. And that way, the demand, you know, might still be high, but the competition is going to be less. And that's what I mean by, you know, that sweet spot for our goal. So here I'm looking at t-shirts that have, you know, about Rottweilers. And this would be just a better um, niche because it would be less competitive. And I can get some ideas looking through. Now, another tip I want to show you, see this white tag right there? That means that it's a Merch by Amazon shirt. So I can kind of go through here and say, okay, that's one, this is one, and scroll down to see what is out there for Merch by Amazon. So that's kind of like a cool trick here. Coffee and Rottweilers, that's cute. Um, Rottweiler Dad, here's another one. All of these ones with the white tags are Merch by Amazon designs. And there's like a picture of a Rottweiler. 
So this is kind of how you bury down, you dig down into a niche to see, um, you know, if you can get high sales, high demand, but with low competition. Okay, thank you guys so much for watching. It's Elena here ending this video, but the reason why I'm ending it and not Tracy is because we have so much information to tell you guys that we could not possibly put it all in one video or it would have been way too long. So as you learned from Tracy, when we went over how to get creativity, how to really think of designs, and how to go through the process of getting your Amazon merch account and being approved for it. We gave you little tips on how to speed that process up. So please make sure that you stay in tune for tomorrow's video. Where we'll be going over the part two of this whole entire merch by Amazon. And it'll be a lot more information going more in depth about this whole entire process and what to do. So please stay tuned for that. I hope you guys really enjoyed. See you tomorrow.